Here's sports director Steve Schneider from the Spencer Callahan 9 Sports Desk. It's, it's the best thing in the world. I mean, being able to come up with the first pitch of the game and kind of show you what LSU's got is, is something that I don't take for granted, and I, I just love every aspect of it. I just love the fact that we keep winning. I mean, that's, that's all I care about. Um, and any way that I contribute is what I try to do. Um, at the end of the day, like, it's, it's awesome to be able to succeed in those moments for your team. Uh, but I'm just glad there's a W at the end of the game. And we could have more of the excitement we saw two weeks ago on Thursday. Number one, LSU baseball hosting another ranked SEC team, while a Lady Tigers team is chasing another championship. Jay Johnson's team beat Tennessee, while Kim Mulkey knocked it out of the park. Last night at Tulane, Johnson's crew improved to 20 and one versus non-conference opponents. Braden Joe Bear had the game tying RBI and that laser that plunked off the top of the wall bouncing back on the field ruled a homer as LSU rallied from a three three to two deficit to defeat the wave 11 to five the enthusiasm chemistry this team enjoys has been evident but Johnson says it's not something he takes for granted headed into a series with 27 and five Kentucky. As we're going through this right now, you know, regardless of wins and losses, it's like this is like a team you want to coach forever because of what you're saying. You know, I mean, there's, you know, I, there's guys that could play every day almost anywhere else, you know, even in our league. And, you know, they're not just accepting maybe a role where they're at, but they're actually embracing it. And I think they know what they have together. And going back to the leadership thing, um, it's held that a really high level. You know, you can have a lot of peace of mind and just focus on the things you need to work on because that part is, is being done at such a high level. I don't think that's talked about enough. LSU ace Paul Skeens will face a Cats team that ranks in the top 10, getting hit by 72 pitches and sacrifice bunts with 30. Tomorrow's game one slated for 6 p.m.